Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Coffee and Contemplation brought to you by Spotlight Recovery. I'm your host, Lucas. It is April 1st. Uh, no April Fool's jokes or anything. I am still going to do a video and a reading. Couldn't come up with anything else more creative. So that's just what we got. Uh, <laughs> but glad you're here with us today. Um, we got a great reflection on uh, just the, the concept of the work, just like how higher power, our higher power can work in our lives, and we may or may not acknowledge or realize it. So I'm like behind the scenes kind of spirituality, which I'm a big fan of. So I'll just bring it up here and let's get into it. April 1st, what our higher power teaches us. The master doesn't talk, she acts. When her work is done, the people say, amazing, we did it all by ourselves, by Lao Tzu. Our higher power works like the master, quietly in fact. We usually take the credit ourselves. We're like a child who bakes cookies for the first time. A parent found the recipe, bought the ingredients, and got out the bowl and pans and spoons. They told us what to do and finished when we got tired. Then they cleaned up after us. We proudly served our cookies saying, I made them all by myself. In recovery, our higher power helps and teaches us every step of the way, just like a loving parrot. Prayer for the day. Higher power, thank you for my life, for my recovery, for love, for hope, and for faith. Thank you for teaching me how to live in a better way. An action for the day. I'll list five ways my higher power has acted in my life. This inspiration is from Keep It Simple, Daily Meditations for 12-Step Beginnings and Renewal. Oh, yeah. So this one's cute. I like this a lot. Um, just all about it. The quote, the story, the vibe of it all. Like This really speaks to me a lot. I really resonate with it. Uh, but I remember the first time that I had read it and found this was years ago. I just remember these things standing out and just relating to that messaging of them and just being like, wow, yeah, I totally do do that, you know? Um, and it's it, it's funny, just this, um, this kind of dichotomy that we're always in, at least here, like in North American culture, it's very much that culture of like self-will and I made it happen and be the best you and it's all self-focused and all of that shit. And then uh, taking the credit for it, you know, I'll always think of like, like uh, the Olympian winning the gold medal and everyone's like, oh my God, they're so amazing. They did it. And it's like, you don't see the whole team behind them and their doctors and nutritionists and coaches and team. Like you don't see this whole community of people that helps raise a person to then be all they can be and do what they can do. Um, and I I think that's the same in so many situations for so many people. Uh, and yet we always seem to be focused on taking that credit ourselves or thinking, I need to figure this out by myself. I have to do this. Um, it's all on me. What am I going to do? That's always the question. And it's like, well, unless you're <laughs> like on a like this desert island that people talk about, like it's not all on you. And you don't have to figure it out and you don't have to worry so much because you have a support system and other people <laughs> in place and out there and there that can help you do all these things. Like it's not, it's not all on you. It's not all on you for the problems and the issues. And therefore it's also not all on you for all the credit and reward and deserving and look at me and all of that shit. Uh, and I think that's really important for us in recovery because being addicts, we have that uh, we have that ego that is uh, always wanting uh, all of that attention and credit. Look at me, and I'm so great, and all of that crap. So, like, if we don't have other people to help us keep that at bay and keep that in check, that's a slippery slope for us to be on too. Um, so, just a bit more detail where it talks about in uh, in this reflection with all of these things that we're talking about. Um, uh, that opening quote is really, is really great. I love, uh, uh, the mention of she for the master or higher power, like mix it up a little bit. I'm a big fan of that. Um, and then, uh, doesn't talk. She acts when her work is done. The people say amazing. We did it all by ourselves. Uh, I fall. And then it connects like that with the higher power it can be the same thing. It's, it's your program it's your decision. Uh, I do that so much. I get in that mentality all the time. Uh, like I was just describing, 
how am I going to get through this? What am I going to do? And then what I do, oh, wow, look at what I did and all that. And, you know, it's funny. I'll, I'll connect with this other side of it the most when other people will say that to me. And they'll be like, oh, wow, you must be so proud. Uh, that's so great that you did that or you accomplished this. That's when it'll click uh, more. And I'll be like, no, like, sure, I did the work, but it wasn't just me. I had all this support in my support system. I have a loving God that takes care of me and guides me and I know has my back. Like, I can't take all the credit, you know. And the other thing, too, that I love is I definitely don't think it's coincidence when you hear all of these actors receiving rewards and athletes um, winning awards or fights or like whatever it is, how many of them you always hear and say the first thing they say is thank you, God. That's the first thing a lot of them say. It's very common. I don't think that's coincidence <laughs> at all. So that's just a part that always stands out for me. Um, so anyway, there's those pieces. And then the story of the cookies. Is, oh, man, that is perfect. I am sure I was this child. I'm sure. Mom, <laughs> uh, Aunt Joan, you're in the, if you're watching this, please throw it in the comments and let me know. I am sure y'all did this for me at some point. Absolutely. Um, uh, this exact scenario. And I just think it's so cute. And it's a really good... Um, uh, oh, come on. What's the word? Like an example of what it can be like for us in recovery. Because it's like, yes, we have to recover and we have to do the work for ourselves to get better. But we have the sponsor that take like this is a pretty 12 steppy one. So we have like the sponsor that takes us through the steps and we are going to meetings and have all those group members who we hear shares from and connect with and talk to and have fellowship with. And then they become our friends or we have other friends outside of this family, if we're lucky, um, outside therapists, psychiatrists, whoever else we work with, coaches, wink, um, and uh, all the folks in our treatment center. If we go to treatment, like there's this whole sea of all these people that gave us all these little things, all the ingredients, like it talks about, all these little things and tips and tricks and exercises that we do and then build up over time that helps uh, result us in having a life in recovery and getting and staying abstinent and having all of these things. Um, so it's, uh, there's that two, the two sides of it of like, yes, take some credit and congratulate and love yourself for doing all the hard work because it is so much hard work and do it and give yourself that credit and credit where it's due and understanding that there were so many like countless pieces and people and organizations and things that helped you build up this recovery to where you are now today. Uh, so just putting it in these perspectives as childlike idealism, I think is really fun. And I really like that. Um, uh, yeah, so it just stands out for me very much and I think it's very powerful they're very strong analogies that's the word I was looking for uh, for our recovery um, and then this this uh, second half of it in recovery our higher power helps and teaches us every step of the way just like a loving parent and then the prayer is thanking God for for that and for all of these things that we have understanding the understanding that we haven't done it alone man I am not enunciating uh, and I like the action for the day. I'll list five ways my higher power has acted in my life. That's a good little reminder of uh, just helping get out of thinking you're so alone or it's all up to you. Or if you're in that fear, like I'm probably going to do this actually. That's just a good little reminder. Um, just to bring you back into the present, knowing God's got your back, stuff like that. So I really like that. Um, so there we go. Uh, April 1st, that's how we're going to launch the new month. Uh, so please stand out, um, put down in the comments what stands out for you. What did you like about this reflection? Um, yeah, we would just love to hear your thoughts and shares. Uh, check out the description for all the other ways we can support you. We've got other um, free resources in there, recovery coaching videos, podcast blog. All these things are all connected on our website. I do recovery coaching with folks. So if you're wanting some more of that in-depth support and work through of this uh please reach out to me my contacts in the description i'd be happy to talk with you and see if there's a way that i can help be a part of that uh, support system while you're baking recovery cookies 
Man, that's bad. Uh, and then uh, you want to support the channel, you can donate, become a member, uh, buy yourself some branded merch. All this stuff really helps us out a lot so we can keep carrying the message and we really appreciate it. So thank you for joining us today. Hope you resonated with that uh, video and the reflection and have a blessed 24 in recovery. And we'll see you again tomorrow.